Well, hello, my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. It is time to get ready for the holidays, and I want to start decorating my Christmas trees. I usually usually put three trees up in our home, and this tree I'm going to start, and this would be my peppermint candy tree. And I'm going to make the decorations with my Cricut machine. So before I get started, I'm just gonna make sure that I fluff out the tree and make sure all the connections are working and it's lit properly. And I'm gonna start off by using some deco mesh. I will put all the items that I use in the description box below. I saw this, um, I've been doing this for about mm, five, six years, using mesh instead of um, all ribbon. It definitely saves on the cost of decorating your tree and it's really it's really nice because it adds a nice flare and it's really nice and full and you don't have to use so much ribbon so I'm gonna start off by adding the mesh and using the branches to secure the mesh in place and make kind of like a bowl um, with the mesh And I did have to use about two rolls of mesh for this one tree. And now that I have it all placed throughout the tree, now I'm gonna go in between and add some ribbon. I got this wired ribbon from Michaels. And I try to find these materials after the holidays when it's on sale and I can use them for the following year. So the first decoration I thought would be a really good idea is making these really oversized peppermint candy. And I'm going to be using my Cricut machine for this. I purchased these cake boards from uh, my local Walmart and it comes an 11 in a pack and they're about eight inches each. And I just found this peppermint SVG on Google and I just brought it into Cricut Design Space and just cleaned it up a little bit. As you can see here the corners were a little bit jagged. I could have found a better PNG but I just used, I used my Cricut Design Shapes to just clean up those edges and then I brought in another circle to be the middle portion and sent it to my mat to cut. This way um, I'm able to um, cut it out on my mat sizing it the, the size that I would like and I want to just take a little bit more out of this space out of my vinyl so I just sliced it up in pieces so that way I can just adhere it to the um, cake board and I was able to get be, be able to make two of these instead of just one I wrapped it with a little cellophane and put some ribbon and using um, a balloon stick, I adhered it and placed it on the tree. I wanted to make some little mini ones, but I didn't find uh, mini boards. So I found these boards at my local Walmart for about a dollar and using that same design, I just sized it smaller. I think they're about three inches and it was able to fit six um, even nine on a 12 by 12 mat. The vinyl that I'm using is Oracle um, 650 and I really like this vinyl because it weeds very nice and weeds like butter. And I'm just gonna place these on these wooden circles that I found. I painted them white and just using my transfer tape I'm going to place them onto the wooden circles and I just use a piece of scrap to make the little silver middle and I cut the balloon sticks in half so that way I can just adhere it towards the back of the wooden circle and I just added a bow that I have on my Etsy shop I made these little bows out of cardstock and the red vinyl and you can leave it as is, just like this, or you can wrap it in cellophane 
Either way, they came out really cute. And I'm just gonna add a little hoop on the top so I can hang it on the Christmas tree. So the next DIY idea is making candy canes. I thought this would be a re really good addition to the peppermint tree. So I created this SVG file and I do have it available on my Etsy and Shopify stores. And I went ahead and cut out the template using some red cardstock and some silver cardstock as well. And the great thing about this SVG is you can make it any sizes you would like. And I size mine at about 3.5, I'm sorry, about three inches. Using my foam dots, I added the little bow in the center just to make a really cute addition to the candy cane. And then I'm just gonna add a little hook towards the top using some ribbon. So I can hang this from the tree as well. And let's get started on the third DIY option. I really thought some picks would really add more fullness to the tree. And so I created my own DIY sticks for the tree. At first I used this wire um, that I purchased from Amazon and I was trying just to use some scraps that I have available and I just this wire was really thin and I didn't really care for it um, using my little hole punch and some scraps I just tried to decorate this so I can make my own DIY picks so I wanted to finish this project and so what I decided to do is I went to my local Walmart and I picked up this um, floral wire which was a little bit more sturdier than what I had and I just continued the process using some scrap paper that I had um, really pretty um, cardstock and this really and it's really pretty red foil cardstock and I cut out a design in Cricut Design Space I found this little shape I think I found it under Canva and cut it out in Cricut Design Space to mimic some holly berries and continue using some scraps just to add some more embellishments. Try to use every piece of this glitter cardstock because it is really pricey. And I just added on to the floral, floral wire and placed that in one of my little balloon sticks that I had just so it could stay nice and secure. And this worked out really good. And I just added a bow that I found from my local Walmart and I really like the way it turned out this floral wire was nice and sturdy to get the project done and I will have all the items I use listed below and this is the balloon sticks that I got um, from Walmart you can also find these at the Dollar Tree as well I have these little um, tables uh, scatter that I got from my local Dollar Tree about a year back and I used the, these as well to add to my picks. Really cute, really nice idea. And I made I made a quite a few with just I think I used one piece of cardstock for this. So now all I have to do is add my bow on top and I really love the way the tree came out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the description box below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit or a lot and we cannot wait to see you on the next video of Crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!